Hello peoples! In today's video we're going to continue to use the Roar LN as our test platform. This will probably be the last one in the series. We're going to change up our weapons loadout just a little bit. We're still going to be using a energy based build but we're going to have some mixed weapons. So we're going to have some distortion repeaters along with laser repeaters and see how that performs. So bringing up Urkel here we have the XJ1 distortion repeater. We have a range of 1,508 meters with a projectile speed of 1,005 meters per second. This is going to pair up great with the NDB-28 that has a range of 1,085 meters and a projectile speed of 1,072 meters per second. If we overclock, you're going to see that our DPS is going to have a pretty substantial boost. So because it's an energy build, we're going to keep them all overclocked. You will also find a link to this build in the video description below. If you want to find out what type of components are used, go ahead and check it out. Then, when you use it in game, if you make any modifications, come back, leave a comment. Let us know how you did, what you changed, what you like, what you didn't. That way, other people get to learn from your experience, not just mine. As usual, sit back grab a nice tasty beverage, a decent snack, and let's see how we do in the rest of this video. Shields down. So not too bad. Uh, the combination of distortion and NDB-28 lasers worked out pretty well in taking out that Valkyrie. Now what we're going to do is go and repeat this. Make sure that we can duplicate our results. So this is an okay example of fighting on the edge of the asteroid field where you're not completely in it, but the target is. That's going to help limit the target's maneuverability because they're going to have to decide whether or not they want to dodge your incoming rounds or face plant themselves into an asteroid. It's not a good choice to have to make, trust me. Been there myself. So just kind of bear that in mind when you're fighting a superior target like the Vanguard in an Aurora because it will help you out. Damage. 
So here's a familiar scenario that we run into. Fighting in an asteroid field on the dark side of the planet. If at all possible, coax the target out. Don't start a dogfight in the center of that mess because you're going to hit an asteroid. It happens to me all the time. So try to coax them out as best as you can. Well, we can wrap this one all up. The Aurora LN is definitely a starter tier ship. It's pretty much the lowest tiered starter ship you can get, but it's not bad. You can still run missions with it, as you can see. Let me know your thoughts on the weapons that we used in the comments section below. And if you like the video, and I hope you do, you know the drill. Hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new to Star Citizen, you can use the links below and the referral code in the video description to get some free in-game currency in the form of 5,000 free UEC when you open up a new account. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, take care.